Hi, Patty. Okay, I've got your work up right here. And I just want to, I just want to say this is an excellent written description describing your designer's intent as well as your technical approach. This is fantastic. I think it's very, very important for design students to understand the importance of being able to communicate your design intent. Um, there's something that you're going to be asked to do your entire career, whether it be to art directors, creative directors, or even to clients. Um, so, you know, cultivating that skill at, at while still in school is just of paramount importance. I was really pleased to see this. Please keep up this wonderful written rationale uh, as we move through the class describing your uh, intent, designer's intent, as well as your technical approach, not only for this class, but also your other classes too. We instructors love it. It teaches us so much about the way you're learning. I mean, I learn as much, honestly, a lot of times from writing um, you know, written experience de describing the assignment as I do looking at the assignment. So this, please keep this up. Fantastic. Okay, so I've got the work up. Let me see what we have here. So let me just go ahead and, and download that. I should have done this before, but I'm sorry. So it, this will only take a second. My computer's pretty fast. So let's go ahead and drop that over. And we'll, I'm just doing this so I can fit it into the window so we can take a look. I think it's a really interesting start. I do. I, I you know, I think you've you've kind of taken the page mechanics and done done some interesting things to them in terms of um, um, you know normal placement of a, of, of the headline and, and the subhead and the logo, etc. But I, listen, I really think that we can do a couple of things here to make this a little bit more mechanically sound. Um, and increase the hierarchy a little bit. I think with the background image, the placement of the logo and the placement of the headline, the, the viewer is a little confused when they get in here as to where do you want me to look first. Typically, we're used to starting this area in, in, a, um, in a magazine ad, right? And we exit right here. So we're gonna use those areas to our benefit. Let me describe what I mean. So what I would do is this, I would recommend this. So we, we're going to reconfigure this. We're going to take this logo. And we're going to place it right down here. It's okay if you're covering up that that person right there. You can also consider using one of the other logos. I think that the the background image has a, some enough color in it that it will support any one of those logos. I'm thinking about the color version. Think about um, the teal and purple. Think about that. See how it works for you. Um, if it doesn't, then uh, you what you could end up doing is is you just using this logo. I think this logo will work just fine. But anyway, so. Place the logo down here, all right? Let me have the mast image over here. So what we're gonna do at that point, we're gonna take this contact information and you're just gonna span it right across the top of the ad right there, okay? I think white type will be just fine. All right, at that point, we're gonna take this whole configuration right here and we're gonna kind of rectify this visual ambiguity. We're left aligned here and right aligned here. And that creates kind of this, this kind of situation where the viewer's going like this and going, okay, this is a little uncomfortable I, because this is left aligned, this is right aligned, they don't match up, it's creating some conf visual confusion. Whether the viewer is aware of it or not, it could be subconscious. The point is, is it does create a little bit of visual tension. Okay, so um, we'll take this logo, left align it, place it right up here. I'm sorry, did I say logo? I meant headline subhead. Um, uh, just place it right up here, left align right here. Body copy stays right where it is. So in summary, here's what we have. We have contact information right across the top, okay? We have headline, subhead, left align. Body copy right here. Um, masked image right here, logo right here, okay? Try it, I think you're gonna like it. I really think it's gonna pull this page together in terms of um, establishing a, a, a stronger hierarchy. And it's also gonna satisfy some of the inherent expectations that's that uh, uh, mag that viewers will, will will be accustomed to when looking at, at magazine and that's not to say that the headline subhead always have to go up top but in this particular situation I think it will definitely improve hierarchy okay uh, great job great start now one thing I do want to recommend is that the background image is a there's no focal point so to speak you could consider a different background image. Now, I'm not saying you have to. I'm saying that just understand what I'm saying, okay? Um, right now, the background image doesn't really have a whole lot of focal point because it's at such a distance. It's at such a distance the viewer doesn't know where to look. So the viewer is confronted with this. I'm going to look at what is not, what is obvious, what stands out. 
Therefore, the eye ends up going, if I look at the background image, the eye is going to go like this, boing, 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 and go from the elements back and forth. So it's going to create some distraction. These little tiny people kind of seem, seemingly floating around. It's going to create some visual distraction. So you could theoretically consider using a different background image, something maybe with a beach scene or something that's not such a far away distant shot where there's a lack of a solid focal point so the viewer doesn't know where to look and ends up looking around as opposed to looking at one pre-designated focal point. Okay, Patty, I, I know I just threw a lot at you, so if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'd be glad to make any clarifications necessary. The important thing for me right now is to, to know that my comments make sense to you and to, to, uh, to know that you are 